that makes one want to be out. Uh, we officially post on YouTube now as well as uh, the Bible Stay and Blog Talk Radio. I'm going to do things a little bit different tonight. I don't know if you had a on Blog Talk to you or not, but this was the opening song that I played uh, when we first started. This broadcast, I'm going to play it just throughout this uh, broadcast at next. That's what I feel to do. But it's uh, Brenda Low, I don't know about tomorrow, you know, tonight. Throughout this whole study, he's been like four days on uh, chapter 18 of John. And uh, I took you step by step through the trials of Jesus throughout everything. And I believe it was at one point yesterday, a day before I told you that, you know, the question was asked, you know, that the man said he had more power than Jesus. And in his what, hands, he had, to, he had the strength to take his life or to give his life. And Jesus had to correct them. Because, you know, at any given point in time, we are all the beatings, we are all the scorn Jesus. When he was hung on the cross, we are every bit of it. He could have stopped it. I could have known. Could he done it for you and I to know? So I invite every one of you to know, if you don't know the Lord, today is a perfect opportunity. Any day is a perfect opportunity. So we don't have no problem of the next day. Today will be your last day. On the floor. I've said this many times, I've even quoted this on Facebook, I said I could never finish this status until Jesus comes back, but I never could finish this broadcast until Jesus comes back. And that's a very true statement that I have to make clear, yes, we finish it, and it will be finished. Think of it as just that quick. Don't think of it like you have an hour or two, or even two years. Think of it as you may never finish your next sentence. And then you realize just how short of the time we have. We're all bothering time right now. I'm not saying that anything's going to end in any time in the near future. I have no idea. No one knows the day nor the hour. You've got even the angels in heaven. God will tell you so. As long as they're predicting it on a certain day, it's not going to happen. The only thing I can guarantee you not going to be December, I believe it's the 21st when they say it is, 2012, because they have predicted that day. And the Bible says no man knows the day nor the hour, not even the angels in heaven. And the Bible does not lie tonight. But it could come on the 20th. It could come 20 minutes from now. It could come 20 years from now. We have absolutely no ideal. It could come 20 seconds from now. We have no ideal. But we need to make ourselves ready. And throughout this Bible study, I have told you, and I know I've done this a whole lot different than I normally do these broadcasters on the special Bible studies. I usually just get right into it. It's got to sleep me somewhere tonight. We have no promise at any time. We need to make ourselves ready. Today, maybe I'm speaking to some of you tonight. Maybe this may be your last opportunity to give your heart over to the Lord. This may be the last time you get that chance. 